In this video, I wanna show you how to edit templates that you bring in from the template library. So this template here um, has you know five shapes or so in the background. It's got a, a hand with a phone and some different elements on here. Um, but right now, as you can see, you can't actually uh, you know select the shapes, you can't adjust them, you can't select the hand. And the reason why is because we've locked them. And the reason why you can't see it right now on the timeline is because they've been hidden. Okay, and we do this to make it more simple for you to edit them. Uh, you know, elements that have animations and that don't really need to be changed. We, we basically lock them. But if you do want to see them and change them, you can often click on this icon and you'll see the hidden layers. Okay, so currently, you know, you've got the shapes locked. So if I unlock the shapes right now and I double click on them, I can go in here and I can, you know, make changes. I could change up the colors. Let's say I'll make this one white, for example, something like that. Then I could go back out of here into the main project. You can see it's been instantly updated like that. Okay. Um, also for this uh, this hand, um, I can go through and change the video. So if I just select the video here and click on replace, I can go and grab a different video. Let's say for example, this one here. And if I just play this through, you can see I've got my nice uh, you know video screen added in there like that. Now, another thing that you can do um, for example, if your video is longer than the one that was previously or you wanted to resize and make the video longer. Um, so what you could do is just drag out, you know, the, these text layers and make them the same length as that video, like so. Um, but then I also need to go through and unlock this and make sure that this is the same length as well. Um, and I'll go through also with the audio, I'll probably make it the same length. And I'm going to unlock the hand, make it the same length. Now with these shakes, because they're in a group, um, we need to go into the group. And often by default, you'll see like just the layers here like this, okay? So you can see the shapes, but you can't see the actual other elements on the timeline. Um, so it will make it a bit hard to actually resize to see to the same length as a uh, duration as the other elements. So we've added this option to show all layers. If you right, if you left click on there, now you can see all the layers outside of your group, okay? So you can see kind of a faded example. And what you can do is if I just zoom in a bit closer, I can go through and resize these layers. And with the timeline snapping and the time and the guidelines, it really makes it easy to just go and, you know, drag out all these layers and make sure that they're the same duration as um, the entire video. So if I go back out of this now, you have to see that the shapes have been put into the same size. And the same thing I'll do with this uh, app store button. I'll just go through and, um, you know, drag these all out. Just make sure that this is selected so that you can see um, all the layers outside of it. Okay. So if we go back over here, now you can see that everything's um, been updated and made the same duration as the video. Um, I could go through and collapse all these like so. And again, if I wanted to hide some layers, let's say I wanted to hide the audio track, um, and I just simply click on this icon. Now there's only four tracks on the timeline, but everything's visible on the actual video. Um, so those are just some helpful tips in terms of editing. Um, when you bring in some different templates, you may not be able to find certain elements. Um, so just simply click on this icon. Um, and again, when editing things, it's often quite helpful if you just, uh, for example, these shapes, just maybe lock them and then they're no longer in the way. Um, you do the same thing with the hand and certain elements that you don't need to um, basically edit anymore, just lock them and it just makes things a lot easier. Okay, so that's how to edit templates inside Create Studio.